Good morning and welcome to my channel. I'm Jennifer. This is A Country Life. It's 9.30 here on this Tuesday and we are heading off. This is the week of Cranberry School. If you've been here for years, maybe you've heard me talk about that before. So it's basically a two-day school. Learning, um, seminars, an expo with all the salesy kinds of things and things um, you know, that cranberry farmers would be looking for. It's like there's some round table discussions, things like that. So anyway, it's learning for Warren. It's fun for the kids and I. We are going to be heading to the Wilderness Resort and the kids are so excited. Maria already has her bag packed. She's helping Joe right now. And I just got it in my head that I needed to do some cooking. Honestly, I'm gonna try to get this stuff done here and I'll either pop some, we'll eat some of it for lunch and I'll pop it in the freezer or, but we also have a friend who's going through some health um, things right now, um, cancer and that. So I thought also I could take this over there and, and maybe, and maybe just kind of help them out a little bit. You know, you feel like there's really, you just don't always feel like there's anything you can do. I mean, you can pray for the people um, and even when you 100% believe in prayer, Sometimes it still doesn't feel enough, you know what I mean? Because you, you just wanna do something that's more tangible. And so anyway, I'm gonna hopefully get this stuff done. I should tell you what I'm doing. I have some chicken going here. I'm gonna make some chicken noodle soup, real simple. It is literally gonna be just like chicken noodle, really not even much for vegetables. Um, just a real simple, just, just comforting chicken noodle soup lots of flavor and then over here i have some ground beef uh going i already burnt it once this morning because i was trying to get dressed and brush my teeth and do my hair while the meat was supposed to be just sort of like warming up but i had it set too high and then i burnt it and i was like mm, the meat is really smelling good and i'm like wait a minute that's beef once i can really smell it like that that means it's probably already burning onto the bottom of the pan and it was if you want to see i have i put water in it so it looks really really bad now but I put water in there because I wanted to, <laughs> I thought at least if it kind of soaked right away, I could get that cleaned up. So I do have the meat here going and I'm gonna be making a taco spaghetti bake. Just saw the recipe this morning on Pinterest. Maria and I were looking, just kind of scrolling on Pinterest for a few minutes and we saw it and I said, does that look good to you? She's like, well, I like tacos and I like spaghetti. So probably I would like that. So we'll see. But those are the two things going here this morning. So in here I have a one and a half pound tube of ground beef, as well as about half an onion. And I did add a little bit more of dehydrated minced onion to it. And then there's one teaspoon of minced garlic. It does say that it should be drained, but to me it doesn't look like there's a whole lot of fat in there. So I'm not going to drain it. it and that's just kind of according to the 74 or 79 com um, comments uh, on this recipe. A lot of them said that they added two taco packets. They also changed up the diced tomatoes to a can of Rotel. So I'm going to do that as well. Some of the people also said that they thought it was a little bit dry. And so I am going to measure out my eight ounces of spaghetti. And I'm also gonna use a little bit extra water. A few people in the comments also said that they used beef stock or chicken stock rather than just straight water. It does call for two cups of water. A number of people said they used three or even four cups. So I think what I'll do is go with the three cups of water. Um, do I do, and I think I'll just put a little bit of beef bouillon into that water so that it has a little bit more flavoring because that was the thing a lot of the comments said that they thought it needed more flavor a lot of people were adding like extra cumin mexican oregano cilantro things like that i don't want to do that but um i do want it to be flavorful enough that rather than just one packet of taco seasoning mix which i believe is one ounce i'm going to use like two taco seasoning packets which is about four tablespoons and then for the diced tomatoes, I'm going to use these diced tomatoes with green chilies just to give it a little added kick. I have yet a fourth cup of water here. 
because it says that the spaghetti is supposed to be completely submerged in the water. It says make sure that it's covered, um, and it's not. So, and at this point I need to bring this to a boil. Even four cups doesn't seem like quite enough. I think as it boils though, it is going to cover those up. And under perfect lighting, that's what the recipe should look like when we're all finished. I know that I've shared this um, little tip with you all before, but when slicing up chicken breast like this, it works so well to just use one of these spring-loaded kitchen shears. Ooh, that's hot still. <laughs> and while I do this, Maria actually ha got out the pen and paper, and she's making a list of the things we need to pick up from the grocery store for our stay at the hotel. And she reminded me that last year for lunches, we just got a loaf of bread and some lunch meat. Mm -hmm. So that's what we're going to do. She also wants lots of drinks. <laughs> Not lots of drinks. I just want juice boxes. Just juice boxes. Okay, well, we'll but probably... We need more? Uh, I can write them down. Just cool. write drinks in general, and we'll just kind of pick out some things. I Maybe, maybe some... Juice boxes, maybe, I don't know. I don't know what else. And now I'm pretty sure that this is going to be more than enough chicken for the chicken noodle soup. So I think I'm going to take a little bit of this and put together some quick chicken salad to take along to the hotel. Because I know that I would really like to have that for a lunch. Very good. Okay, we're going to put the cheese in. Ooh, did I just spill? We need a little bit more cheese than that we need a full eight ounces. Okay, one pot taco spaghetti. I think it looks pretty good. I haven't tasted it yet. Um, I think I probably didn't, I didn't need the full fourth cup of water. I think I could have just done a half a cup and then just been aware of pushing the noodles down as it was cooking for that 12 minutes. I think that would have been fine. But you know how noodles are. They continue to soak up uh, the liquid like overnight and the next day, that kind of thing. So tomorrow I think it's going to be thicker. Um, this would be kind of like a, well, if you had some garlic bread or you wanted to eat it with something like that, that would be great for sopping up the liquid in this too. Okay. <clears throat> All right. I just tried this. Um, it's good. I think it's a little too salty though. And I'm sure that's just because I use those beef bouillon cubes. So if you're going to do that, um, which I did that kind of per a lot of the comments, people saying that they used a beef broth or a beef stock. Um, some people said they used a chicken stock. Um, so I would only use maybe go with just one beef bouillon cube rather than two because I do think it's a little bit salty, but it's also got a little bit of a kick to it. So it must be the Rotel gave it a little bit of a kick. If you don't want it to have a kick at all, then just stick with the regular diced tomatoes. But I would definitely make this again. Yeah, this is very good, very good. All right, Joe just tried it. What do you think, honey? Really, really hot. It's really hot? Yeah. Like, like cold hot or spicy hot? Let's start bubbly. Both. It's both, huh? But do you like it? Do you think it's good? Do you think it's bad? Which one do you think? Good. You think it's good? Since the vegetables in the um, soup stock have been boiling away, I am going to add in the Amish, these Amish egg noodles extra wide. Really love these in soup. They get pretty big. They do get pretty big, but they're so tasty. I just added in, I'm trying to see if I could find it or if it already melted but i just added in there it is about two tablespoons maybe a little bit over two tablespoons of butter so if i make like a chicken noodle soup and i'm not starting with skin on bone in chicken you know and bringing that to a boil and then simmering it and everything to get all the flavoring from the bones in the skin yeah. I will add in a couple tablespoons of butter. I think it just adds kind of a good richness to the broth. I've also read somewhere that, that people, that someone added in a little bit of, of white wine as well. And yes, for those of you who caught my complete mistake uh, when I said winking oil twice in that oh. last video, 
I almost was going to edit that out because I was like, what was I thinking when I oh, called it winking her. oil and not Give winking owl wine? But anyway, um, I didn't edit it out because I was like, you know what? Who cares? We slip up, we make mistakes, and we just move on. So anyway, those of you who Jeff. caught that and were like, I think Jeff. it's winking owl, you're correct. There's been a lot on YouTube right now about pantry challenges where, you know, people just sort of stock up maybe on some groceries. I guess everybody does it differently. And then throughout January and maybe even February, they see how long they can go before they have to go to the grocery store. Well, I, I don't normally do that because I feel like what I would end up doing is doing a giant grocery shop and then say, I'm going to start a pantry challenge. Yes, cut that up too seems kind of funny to me. I feel like pantry challenge should be started when you're already kind of low on groceries and you feel the need to go to the grocery store and then you say, I probably have a lot more food around here than I think I do. So with that said, all of these meals that I've been making today, I didn't have to go to the grocery store. I just made do with what I had. I mean, the chicken noodle soup has two baby carrots in it and some celery and a little onion. I mean, that's all I put into the into the chicken soup. And now for my chicken salad here, I'm out. I only had about a tablespoon of mayo, so I'm doing just a tablespoon of mayo with mainly Miracle Whip now. Maria is cutting up a green onion for me. We're going to throw that in here. I'm completely out of celery, uh, which I love celery in chicken salad. So I might just throw some celery seed in here. I think that would taste good. I have a few dried cranberries. Um, I'm going to add just a few of those to it, not as many as normal. And I'm going to see what I have for almonds and some salt and pepper. And that that's going to be it. We're just going to mix it up and call it good. I have some shredded lettuce and I'm going to take that along to the hotel. And then I think both lunches, so Wednesday and Thursday lunch, that's what I'll do. I'll just have chicken salad over a bed of lettuce. That'll be a delicious lunch. And yeah, we were going to do the bread and lunch meat sandwiches for the kids. Of course, if they want some chicken salad, they can have that too, right, Maria? You don't like chicken salad, though, do you? Oh, I don't know. You don't know. All right, so we'll get the onions in and some... Whoops, you might have to use your fingers, honey, so that you can kind of guide it. There you go. Mm -hmm. Cranberries in there. I'll just put them all in. A little chunky, but mm. let me. I feel let me like take it a, might need a little more like liquidy. A little bit more something because like because it's gonna soak up this miracle yeah. whip, isn't it? It's yep. Because there's some like dry you spots could probably there. Okay. Use some more. In the last video I filmed, but it isn't up on YouTube yet, I made some freeze and, what do we call these? Freeze and bake? Bake and freeze? Freeze and bake. Freeze and bake. <laughs> freeze and bake dinner rolls. And I think they called them butter knots. Butter knots. So you just par bake the rolls for, I think it was something like 10 minutes. Then you put them in the freezer. And now, this is this is like the big reveal here. We haven't baked them all the way to completion yet, so we'll see how this goes. You just preheat the oven to 375 degrees. You place these on a pan, and then you bake them for 12 to 15 minutes. I'm really excited to see how this goes, since I have both the taco spaghetti, which is a little bit juicy, and the chicken noodle soup for lunch. I thought that Everybody would love to have some of these dinner rolls. And I've been wanting to share these with you. And in that video, I said, stay tuned to the end because I'm going to make the dinner rolls. Well, the week was just crazy full and it just never happened that I made dinner rolls. So here we go. I think, let's see, Joe is not huge on homemade bread. I know, that seems sinful. Um, and I know... Peter could probably eat four if if there were that many here. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This should be good. I think we'll just make this many right now. And that's the great thing. See, they're par baked, so you can just put them into your Ziploc bag, stick them in the freezer, take out what you need, bake them, and have fresh baked bread. Do you have any yellow? Bingo! 
Yummy, yummy, yummy. Now these were brushed with butter when they were par-baked. Um, I think brushing with butter again would be delicious. But I think the first time we're just going to eat them just like this. I want to share with you that today's sponsor is Dossier Fine Fragrances. And let me just show you. I wish that I had some new fragrances to show you guys, but I don't have anything new that I'm trying right now. I just kind of have my basic lineup here. Floral Rhubarb, use that one a lot. That's actually what I'm going to put on today. And I think, I think the scent in here, I wonder if it's like musks that kind of make this one really hold on to my skin for a long time. And then this one also is another one of my fav favorites, Floral Berries, because it has the musks. And I have my Floriental Vanilla, and I have my Floral Grapefruit and Fruity Magnolia, the Aquatic Peony. I really like this one, but I'm not sure if that is a fan favorite of my family's. Um, let me smell that one again, and let me see if that's the one I'm thinking of. Yeah, I put that one on the one day. I know that that Warren didn't seem to be overly uh, enthused with that one. Uh, this one, though, he likes this one, but he really likes the smell things that have vanilla in it. And this one has vanilla. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, now this one I like better than this one, but he likes this one better than this one. It's just so funny how perfumes are like that. Um, the nice thing with the nice thing with the Dossier perfumes is that you they do have like free returns and exchanges, and that is really nice because you can buy a couple, um, you know, two or three different scents, and they always ha are running some kind of special. I will put the best special that is going at this time, I will put that in the description box below and you can head over and see all of the scents. I did, I, I did recently see that they have added another five or six scents to their lineup. They are always adding new scents. And so I think the next, I think I'm going to get a few more so that I can try some new scents. I've kind of been on on these for quite a while, but I'll get some new scents next time. I'm going to share with you guys uh, some of the new scents that have come out and give those a try. Uh, so anyway, always new scents, always fantastic prices. Check out Dossier in the description box below. Go to their website, use my code, and I will put my code as a little ticker right here for you guys. Uh, use my code to get the best price possible. Thanks to Dossier for sponsoring today's video. I'm packing. You guys, I'm getting everything packed. I'm throwing everything in my bag here, what I need. So I said floral rhubarb, that one is gonna go along. And I think for fun, I'm gonna take floriental vanilla this time. And what do I need to take out of here? Look at, maybe it doesn't look super organized, but Maria dumped or emptied everything out of here the other day and went through and got everything organized again, like all the clips and all the hair ties and all the, all the like claw clips and things like that all together. So that was really nice. Um, I'm going to take some of these. I really like these for taking off makeup at night. And well, I'm going to have to take my brush and I'm going to take my spray and conditioner because with the chlorinated water, I know I'm going to need that. It's so hard to comb through hair after you've been at a water park all day. Um, let's see what else. Well, I'm going to take my makeup bag and a couple and a couple clips. Let's take a couple bobby pins. We'll just take a handful and throw them down in there, like just like that. Put the makeup there. They have a blow dryer there, and I think that's it. We're good. I got everything packed up now. Do you guys remember ShopGo? I loved ShopGo. It was such a bummer when ShopGo went out of business. Anyway, I got this like overnight makeup toiletries bag from ShopGo, probably in something like 1999, I bet. <laughs> it's probably the year Nick was born. I love it so much. And I truly have not run across anything that's as heavy duty as this. I don't even know if this is still a brand that's in the making, Ascot, I have no idea. Um, I see another one of my claw clips here that I want to take, so I'm going to get that in there. I suppose I should close my closet. And I'm going to take along two different books. 
I haven't started either one of these, but I have this one. It's called Love Your Life. It just says it's by Sophie Kinsella, um, number one New York Times bestselling author. I don't know which book she got the number one on, and I've never read any of her writing, so I have no idea what type of writing it is, but we're going to go with it. You know, sometimes you get a couple chapters in, and you're kind of like, eh. Like, I just turn to a page, and not that I can't read the F word. I mean, I am a big girl, but I see it a couple of times already on this page. So sometimes I find that some books are just, like, so incredibly outside of anything that I'm comfortable reading. I end up just ditching the whole book. We'll see. Love your life. If you read it, let me know. Uh, and then I also have this, just a classic. I've never read this. I've never read anything by Edith Wart Wharton. Uh, Ethan Frome. I don't know. It sounded like it was supposed to be some kind of like old-time love story. Can't imagine there'd be anything inappropriate in that one. Being that the copyright is 1911. But I, every once in a while, I like to just read a classic. They take a lot longer to read. I don't know. Have you guys noticed that? That the classics, because the language is so... Uh, like advanced compared to the way we speak today that it takes a lot longer to read the books. The sentences are much more complex and you just, you got to think a lot more in a classic. And sometimes classics, I mean, even a short classic like this, which is under 200 pages, it could take me just as long to read that as it would a 400 page today novel. Um, just kind of just interesting. All right, it is time to eat some lunch. We're just waiting for the mail to come, and once the mail comes, that's when we're going to be taking off for the water park. 12-year-old boys eating. Can that be put on YouTube? <laughs> I wish I could have. Use a napkin, use a napkin. I wish I could have gotten his first impression because he took a bite. What'd you say? <laughs> you don't remember? He's like, oh. This is so good. It is. <laughs> Joe really liked it too. He gobbled up his bowl. It's, a little, it's got ground beef rather than ground venison. So yeah, it is a little bit greasier. All right, you guys excited? Yeah. Yes, sir. <laughs> I think we have just as much stuff in the back to go down to the Dells as we did when we went to Florida. Just sure, sure. <laughs> probably. What, honey? Sure. No. Yes, sir. Yes. No. Yes, sir. You don't yes, think so, Maria? Yeah. We had stuff by our feet, and now we don't. Oh, okay. Except water bottle. Except your water bottle. All right, so I guess we did take a few less things, but it's always amazing how much stuff you need, even just like going to a water park. But, you know, what yeah. we didn't take to Florida was food, food to Florida, just the snacks, and then we shopped when we got there. Whereas here, we do have some actual, like, food for the hotel. So, anyway. All right, well... Off to the grocery store, we're gonna get some drinks and we need some lunch meat. What else did we need on that list, Maria? We needed Soda. drinks and lunch meat. That was it. That was it? Yep. All right, well, that's gonna be an easy that trip to the grocery Soda. store and then off we go. It's so weird. All right, well, we, like are, we are in Walmart. Milk. This is so interesting. We were looking for some of these little cereal bowls and they have these out now where you just add cold water and stir to create real milk so i would imagine there's just like powdered milk in here very interesting they have one two they have like four Ooh. different flavors oh but i think i think we'll get honey nut cheerios dad loves those i'll get one of these for peter because he likes lucky charms too. all right all right get that one for sure for dad okay um, how many do we what need is joe gonna want two? joe is gonna want the plainest cereal you think he wants the plainest cereal? No. He's going to want Honey Nut Cheerios. Yeah. How many do we need? I picked two. Should I pick another one for Peter? Uh, sure. All right. That looks good. Three, four, we five, also six. we got some lunch hey, meat here. Oh my. I guess I closed it with a bunch of air in it. And some juice boxes that Maria picked up. We've never seen these before, but she loves purple, so I think that's why she picked those out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's kind of dark in here. Well, we just ordered pizza from Sargento's. Is that what this is called? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is that? Are we sure? Yes, it is. No. What is it called? That no. doesn't sound Sargentos. right. Sargento's. Sorrento's. I think it's Sorrento's. Uh -huh. All right. Anyway, well, they had they had a great price. Two pizzas and breadsticks. How are the and breadsticks, lemonade. kids? Great. Breadsticks are good. 
Mm -hmm. Good. How's the pizza? Napkins and plates. It's good. Yeah, it came with everything. Marie and, and I are going to go get ice. Oh, Everybody's cheese. favorite mm -hmm. thing at a hotel. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay, we have to figure out which way is ice. Which way do you think is ice? <laughs> the hall um, just keeps going. I feel like I'm in that dude perfect yeah. hotel stereotypes. Let's go down this like way. Where you can't find your room. Where you, you can't things. find your room. There's another happy birthday. Hey, thing. someone's having a birthday. Oh, Housekeeping. Electrical. Like vending, vending. I bet it'll be by vending. Okay, let's flip a light on. Oh, good. All there right. it is. Yep. Do not disturb or whatever so that we can, so that they don't clean our room. Guys, no. where is that? Is no I can just make one. Oh, so usually. Good morning, everybody. We, it's our first morning here and we're just getting ready to head out to the ropes. What do they call it? Northern Lights Ropes, ropes Course. Yeah, yeah. Do you think like, people here will like, see it and read it? Yes, they will They will see that and they will be like, oh, they don't want us to clean their room. Like, almost like last year, we're about as far away from... No, let's go to the very far elevator because that's the one that takes us right to where the shuttle picks us up. Yeah. Number five? Yep. <coughs> Good. Are you looking forward to the ropes course? This is where they strap on that harness and then you go up above the arcade. Too dangerous. Okay. It, you think it's too dangerous? Yep, too dangerous. I'm you sorry. You were good at it last year. Too dangerous. Steps are better than the elevator, right? Yes, ma'am. And we want to go to Wild West. Uh, hi, could I get a shuttle bus to Glacier from Glacier Door 5 uh, to Wild West? You did it. <laughs> Last year I made all the shutter, shuttle calls and this year I'm like, you guys are going to do it. I'm going to do it next time. You're going to do it next time? Yeah. And we were just, um, yesterday we were listening to a podcast and they were just talking about how there is a lady who actually has an entire business where companies and even parents are hiring her to teach their children phone skills because people don't have those like, I guess sometimes they call those soft skills or whatever. So anyway, we're gonna make sure that our kids know how I to talk the on the phone. <laughs> has the um, map again. She is our map girl for sure. And it has been such a good day. I wanted to get video today, but I didn't get any video at all today. Not even, no, nothing. Because, you know, you're in the water all the time. <laughs> and I'm not gonna, I, I don't do the GoPro thing. Mine's just regular camera. So anyway, we, we are going to go and use one of the things off our fun pass. Yep. The Peter wanted to do... Yes, the black light laser tag. So that's what we're gonna do now. Um, we did Cubby's Cove this morning. Amber came up, hung out with us, and uh, we did Cubby's Cove, which is really great for little, little kids. Yeah. So if you're like making your way like to the Dells, if you're making your way to the Dells, Cubby's Cove is great for little, little kids. Also, it was great for us because they actually have like pools <laughs> where they have basketball hoop and they got like that lily pad Here's thing. The mm -hmm. They got the lily pad thing that you can jump across and they had a nice hot tub. 
I don't know why we're on here. We have to get to four. Oh, we have to go down to fourth uh, floor. I see. We could have just taken the steps. I know. My phone yeah, is well, dead. Yeah, we have to get over to there and then go down to fourth floor. Okay. okay. So okay, we, are we are on. Fourth we're on fourth. Fourth floor. On fourth. We have to go. We're like in the four section. We have, we have to go to through the five section onto that mm -hmm. little like skywalk and then into the. Yes, but which way do we get glacier. to the skywalk? Do we go this way to the skywalk? Downstairs. Well, after okay. all of the all of the math work, we found him. Yeah. <laughs> we found him. We gave him his wristband so he can get back into the room now. They are actually just having social hour right now, and so that's perfect. We're gonna go. What are we guys? What are we doing again? We're I keep going forgetting. To play laser, tag. laser tag. Right. Laser tag. Oh, it's really guys. fun. Do you have bracelets? Oh, yeah, have With fun pass. Fun pass. Joe, you got a special. How many on this card? Just you? Oh, yep, just one on that card. We each have our own card. All right. Joe, take one. Come on, buddy. All right, how'd you do? It's sparrow. Okay, let's go see. There you go, bud. Uh, thank you. Well, our laser tag experience was not overly exciting. There were a couple of laser tag sharks. I guess that's what I call them, right? What you call them, laser tag sharks? You know, like a pool shark. So, anyway, even when we got there, they were just like I, ascended upon yeah. us. Um, as soon as we like, you but you still got third place. Yeah. They, and we were doing every man for himself. But they teamed up and they, they ended up shoot teaming each other, up, and then they yeah. were just like both. Follow you, follow you, even just, when you're dead, and just keep on shooting. Yeah. And as soon as you came alive, they just got you again. Yeah, that was kind of a bummer. Yeah, but however, that's how it was. Yeah. So we're just taking a little time here to play on the. Gotta, they got like a big jungle gym. I gotta try gym. to catch Maria or Joe. Well, good morning, everybody. We're trying to keep a we're trying to keep a good attitude here. So, I don't know. I'm not feeling the greatest today. There was a little GI stuff that kind of went through last weekend with some of Emily's family and some of our family, and now today I'm kind of feeling it. So, we're gonna just kind of I'm gonna stay a little low key. Kids are excited though. Where are we off to? Climbing well, wall. Yes, climbing wall at Wild West. I said I'm not doing the climbing wall. Last year, I actually, when I was like doing the rappelling part down. She goes, woo, and her feet went up. She fell on the ground and her feet went up. Yes, and I hurt my tailbone. So I was like, I don't think I'm gonna do that this year. Joe just, when she said, which one do you want to try? He's like, this one, which is of course the expert. Is that the hardest one over there? Yeah, yeah that's what I thought. Hold your hands onto the yellow pieces. Awesome. Good job, Joe. You're so strong. You're doing great. up there. Do you want to try this one, Joe? The one that, okay. Maria, Joe wants to try that one. Joe wants to try this one.
mean? I know. Isn't that fun? Okay, let's go. Look at that. That is so cool. <laughs> Look at my white sweater. Look at my golf club. Joe's hat. My Everybody smile. Glowing. How about your teeth? Do you my have teeth? My are glowing. It'll glow once you put it. I think it will. It's going through the camera. Track? For tonight's supper, I am going to adapt my regular Amber's creamy potato soup recipe, which is meant for the crock pot, but I'm going to adapt it. I've never done this before, but I think it's going to work just fine. And honestly, I just want to try and see because sometimes what I'm going to do is do it in the instant pot because sometimes best laid plans, you think you're going to get th something started in the morning and then, you know, you just get busy and all of a sudden you're like, oh my gosh. I only have four hours until supper or I only have three hours and it isn't enough time. So it's actually three o'clock, not enough time for me to do the crock pot version. I'm also going to not use the frozen potatoes because I don't have that, but I do have, a, this is two pounds and it'll be about 30 ounces after I peel these. And so I'm going to just start with regular potatoes, get these peeled, get these chopped and get them into my instant pot bowl. I'm just going to follow along. I need one can cream of chicken soup. I need 28 ounces. So let's think of what that is. 28 ounces of water. Two tablespoons or so. And some black pepper. I'm going to get this into the Instant Pot now. And I'm just setting it for the soup just the soup uh, button that's what i pressed i'll get my cream cheese out of the fridge and set that on the counter to soften a bit i have about four ounces let me just check yes this is about four ounces that's all i'm going to use i want to get that used up i don't want to open up a new one um, and so we're just going to put four ounces of cream cheese, but we won't do that until after. And then I will, what I'll do is just kind of cube it up. I'll put it in there. I'll leave the Instant Pot turned on. Like if you don't hit cancel, it'll stay on a setting. At least mine does. Stay warm setting. I'll just leave it on that until it's time for supper. Did I set that to ceiling? Yes, I did. I will leave it like that until supper. Give it a good stir. And then we'll just top it off with some shredded cheese sliced green onions and some bacon bits and hopefully this works out just fine and it'll be a faster way and it's less expensive because i'm using um you know just raw potatoes versus an already uh, chopped frozen potato from the store all right well i just opened this up here and put in the cream cheese which is nicely softened from sitting on the counter the potatoes are done this isn't going to be as like mushy creamy but I might I might use my potato masher and just mash up some of the some of the potatoes to make it a little bit mushier but it smells delicious you guys and I think this is a great option for if you are in a hurry and you want to make Amber's creamy potato soup that's a nice looking bowl of soup Maria mm -hmm. so this is how the quick instant instant pot or I should call it electric pressure cooker potato soup turned out. I think it turned out um, just just great. Especially, like I said, if you're in a hurry. 